And hello again. It's me again. Yes, I know you're probably getting sick and tired of me now. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Um, so, yesterday, a bit of uh, Superman Man of Steel movie news was uh, released. Um, it's 100% likely that Russell Crowe, yes, is in line to play Jor-El. Now, I'm not exactly two minds I would say I mean I rate Russell Crowe I follow the guy on Twitter he is quite 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 a guy he is quite a character but he is a good actor he is a very very good actor um, Robin Hood his recent um, well the last one that I saw that he was in um, really good loved it um, obviously there's also Gladiator and um, you've also got LA Confidential Beautiful Mind um, Cinderella Man as well in there um, so it's very yeah it's interesting I'll say that um, the most interesting being that he is pretty much of the right age kind of thing um, because at the end of the day the way the way that we're going to see the Superman movie is all, we've all got to remember that when Kal-El little baby Kal-El was born jor would have been mid 30s you know, early to mid thirties sort of thing, I would imagine. Um I know that in Superman movie you had Marlon Brando play him and obviously he was in his fifties, but I would imagine that he was playing a character who was probably more in his early forties kind of thing. Um so we can't really say that, you know, Marlon Brando played an older version or he was too old kind of thing, because Marlon Brando nailed Jarrell. Um and it's going to be difficult to top that as far as I'm concerned. That's all I'm going to say. Um, and then, obviously, as I say, what is really funny, <laughs> what is really funny is that you've now got two actors, right, who have played Robin Hood, who are going to be fathers to Clark Kent. You didn't see that one coming now, did you? No, I bet you didn't. And um, what? What are you looking at? You want to say hi? You you, you want to say you want you, you do you're right? Okay, people, just have to. Um, I want to introduce you to someone. Now this little fella here. This is Karma, my bearded dragon lizard. Look at him. He's three years old, and he's pretty much fully grown already. Um, I bought him off someone who was. Um, wanting to sell him um, and I've always wanted a lizard actually I've always wanted an iguana but hey still a lizard Aww. yeah he's um, he is very tame um, you know he doesn't doesn't, doesn't do much <laughs> but yeah he's uh, if you follow me on Twitter you will have seen some interesting pictures of him already um, yeah so there you go. Say hi. Say hi. Look at him. Yeah, you see, he's, I don't think he's bothered now. You see, before he was, he was staring at me as if to say, Oi, get us in your video. So, there you go. Right, your moment of fame is over. Off you go. Oh, shoo. There you go. That's it. Whatever. Um, yeah, sorry about that. Um, so, yeah, very interesting choice. Um, It'll be interesting to see how Zack uses Russell as Jarrell. Um, it is very interesting. But yeah, so you've now got Kevin Costner, Henry Cavill, Diane Lane, um, Russell Crowe, Michael Shannon, Amy Adams. Well, we're pretty much set. You know, we are pretty much set. So, rock and roll, baby, rock and roll. I'm really looking forward to this now. Um, you know, as I say, I do rate Russell Crowe as an actor, and um, yeah, so it'll be very interesting. So let me know what you guys think. Come on, let 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 me know what you lot think. Do you think Russell Crowe is a good idea? I know a lot of people were hoping that it would be Liam Neeson. Now I love Liam Neeson. I think he is the daddy, right? But he has done so many of these father figure type characters, especially with Qui Gon Jinn. Um, then of course he when he was Ra's al Ghul as a mentor to Bruce Wayne as well um, but you know I just think 
Yeah, he, he would have added some serious character, I think, Liam Neeson. Um, and then, there's, as I say, a rumour also went out, well, at least a friend of mine actually told me that um, even John Hamm was considered at one point. And I, again, I applaud John. You know you know how I feel about John Hamm. And I think he would he would have done a job, good job as well. So, um, apparently Liam was not even considered. But there you go. Do not drop off the table, whatever you do. He's like walking towards the edge of the table. Um, but yeah, Russell Crowe. Yeah, I can see it. I can see it. I can. I, I'll have to, you know, just wait until the movie. Wait until we've got some production shots and things like that. And um, you know, yeah. Let's not let's not get too ahead of ourselves. But it's looking likely this could be a quite an exciting movie. So who knows? I still want to just see Henry Cavill in the costume. That's all I want to see right now. And um, what are you doing? Okay, yeah, stay still. Sorry, um, but yes. What do you guys think? Do you think Russell Crowe is a good idea? Who who would you prefer to see as Jor-El in the new Superman movie? Comment away. See you later. Bye.